Cable have launched the new Shenzhen Pro battery in China, but this battery they're marketing to Europe. They're marketing this battery to European automakers, to legacy automakers, and of course you can get it in China as well. So this could end up becoming one of the most commonly used batteries on the European continent. And the reason is because it's incredibly good at lasting for a long, long time. But even more so than that, it gets around the problems of lithium ion phosphate batteries that they have in extreme temperatures. In extreme temperatures, extreme hot, extreme cold, they're not great. There they can be some pretty significant limitations. And Europe does get very, very cold. Therefore, these batteries, if you combine their ability to handle extreme colds with their other tech features, they would be the best batteries, I think, to have in an EV in Europe. However, there is two different batteries. So you've kind of got to pick your poison. I mean, not pick your poison, but pick which, you know, pick which one you'd prefer because they've both got their own advantages. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. The Shenzhen Pro and the Shenzhen Pro. I think they should have two different names because both batteries are called exactly the same thing. Maybe we could say Shenzhen Pro Super Long Life and Shenzhen Pro Super Fast Charging. That's probably the best way to actually put this because the Super Fast Charging battery is different to the Super Long Life battery. Cadle is saying this is Europe, Europe's first battery that has a, well, a warranty for a very long period of time, 12 year warranty from Cadle. And they say that it will last for 1 million kilometers and still have 70% of its battery left. So but basically going to lose 30% battery degradation in the space of, I don't know, 12 years or 1 million kilometers, whichever one comes first. Yeah, you can see what I mean by guys, how batteries are, are going to outlive the life of cars in almost every instance. Cadel, they say that well, the headline number they've been using, I think is a bit silly. They're saying that um, their battery will provide 758 kilometers of WLTP range. So that's 470 miles of range. Now, this doesn't make any sense because, I mean, how are they? which car does this go in? Uh, what, what efficiency does that car have? What motors is it using? Uh, how much does it weigh? How, how big is it? Uh, how aerodynamic is it? So the WLTP range um, miles and kilometer figures are completely nonsensical. They make no sense at all. So I'm not even going to go into those numbers because it's po utterly pointless. We don't know what the energy density of this battery is, but I estimate it's around 200 watt hours per kilogram. To give you some context, BYD's Blade batteries, they're 165 watt hours per kilogram. So yeah, it's definitely an improvement on existing tech, put it that way. Now there's two batteries. We'll look at the first. The first one I think is very interesting, the super fast charging battery. That battery, um, Kate will say you can charge it at 12C and 12C would work out to approximately 1000 kilowatt fast charging. 1000 kilowatt, you can just flash, they call it flash charging and flash charge this thing 410 kilometers of WLTP range in 20 minutes, even under extreme cold temperatures. However, they also say that you can charge the battery from 10 to 80% in 10 minutes. So the big advantage of this battery is its ability to handle extremely cold temperatures or to be able to charge the battery really, really fast, even when it's say minus 10 degrees Celsius. And that's probably a big deal in places like Europe, especially Northern Europe, where it gets really, really cold. 12C peak charging. That, so that equates to approximately 1000 kilowatt charging. But the other big benefit of this new battery is just its ability to handle really, really cold temperatures. All right, so that's the one battery. The other battery, the one that gets the 1 million kilometer guarantee or the 1 million kilometer lifespan, that battery is got, that's the one that Cadle is providing. I think it has slightly higher energy density. That's the one they're saying 758 kilometers of range. It's a 120 kilowatt hour battery though. It's a massive battery pack that they're using. In fact, I, I was wrong. It's a 122 kilowatt hour battery. I don't think there's any EVs really with 122 kilowatt hour batteries. 
So let's just ignore that, those range figures. Well, I think what's really important here is the warranty. Uh, Cadle's warranty is technically 10 years and 240,000 kilometers. That's from the, you know, the company, the battery company themselves, 10 years, 240,000. But they're saying that by the time it hits 200,000 kilometers or 125,000 miles of driving, it will lose approximately 9% of its capacity. Not really a standout figure, to be honest. That's neither here nor there. There's plenty of batteries that would probably lose about that. However, they're also saying by the time it hits a million kilometers of driving, it should only lose around 30% of its original capacity. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure how that's going to play out. They're saying 10,000 life cycles for this battery. I honestly think that the average person wouldn't do that in 20 years. So, yeah, I mean, it, it could potentially last for even more than 1 million kilometers. And what's going to really happen is the batteries will just be used for energy storage, you know, powering um, shopping centers, powering factories, powering homes. Well, that's what we're going to see. A lot of businesses will just power their own properties with solar and, and batteries, used, used up cars, cars that have been in crashes, etc. That's the future of the energy industry, just using batteries from old cars, essentially. So that's really good for global energy storage. Real, real big, big benefit having electric car batteries that can continue, continue lasting. And put it this way, I mean, Rome Airport is powered by old Nissan Leaf batteries. We know how great they are. Imagine if Rome Airport was powered by these after they'd gone through five to 10 years of driving. I mean, it'd be much, much, much better. Now, getting back to the other details on this uh, Shenzhen Pro battery with long life, it's actually capable of charging an approximately 500 kilowatt. So that battery will charge in 15 minutes, 10 to 80%. Of course, the other battery, the fast charge battery, that will charge in 10 minutes. So yeah, 10 minutes versus 15 minutes. But now I should mention, Cable did actually provide us some details on the temperature ratings, right? They say in freezing cold temperatures, the fast charging battery can can add more than 250 miles of range or 410 kilometers at minus 20 degrees Celsius, which is minus four Fahrenheit. They also say that when the battery is at 20% state of charge, that it will deliver 830 kilowatt. Uh, meaning if you're getting a performance EV, um, Tesla Model Y potentially in the future might have this battery, uh, Zika 7X or wheel drive. But in that situation, it would mean if the battery is only at 20% state of charge, you'll find if you drive most normal EVs, performance EVs, when it's at 20%, there's a lot, a lot less power. You might get like a 40% power reduction, but they're saying in this, there's no power reduction all the way down to 20%. You're still going to be able to put out massive performance in using this battery. So that's another advantage of the battery. I think really the bigger advantage though is super fast charging plus being able to charge very, very fast at minus 20 degrees Celsius, minus four Fahrenheit. And then the long life battery being basically Cadle saying, yeah, this thing's going to give you a million kilometers of rain uh, of driving, no problems at all. After that, you probably just use it for energy storage. This is pretty awesome. And it's also pretty awesome that they're guaranteeing this battery for 10 years and 240,000 kilometers. There's no engine company in the world that makes engines, uh, Toyota, uh, Honda, um, everyone, BMW, none of these companies guarantee that their engines will have a 10 year, 240,000 kilometer warranty. I've never heard of that in my life. So this is really one big benefit of EV batteries versus actually having an ICE car. Plus, when do manufacturers ever say our internal combustion engines will last and run well for a million kilometers. And after that, you can use them for all, a bunch of other stuff that's gonna save you potentially tens of thousands of dollars powering your house, etc. Honestly, this stuff is pretty damn awesome, isn't it? Electric cars are so cool now. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.